Okay, you probably already know one or two of these right out the bat, but some are big. At the end, I'll reveal one that even the most loyal Tesla fans might get irked about. Let's get right into it. The first one's pretty obvious, it's the price. Even the biggest pro Tesla investor bulls like Gary Black were tweeting some shock on this one. I mean, it wasn't a small miss. The lowest price single motor overshot the quoted $39,000 by a whopping 50%, coming in at just under 61 grand. The dual motor was even worse at $79,990, with the highest priced Tesla Cyber Beast sucking the bank dry with a mind-bending $99,990 US. The second broken promise was no less disappointing. Trucks are supposed to be able to tow. And the one main setback for EV trucks in the past has been range loss when pulling a trailer. And we here at Trucked Up EVs, we were really hopeful. In 2019, Musk promised a 500 plus mile tri-motor version. Sweet. So when the final numbers rolled out, even the most enthusiastic fans must have felt the air leave the room. At 320 miles, Cybertruck was on par with the F-150 Lightning Extended Range and the Rivian R1T. The worst insult was to try and make more money off an already super inflated price by packaging an aftermarket range extender battery to stuff into the bed, taking up even more precious hauling space, being that the Cybertruck also has no spare tire. Yeah, really. Even with the add-on, Cybertruck can still only get 440 miles, far short of Elon's promise of dramatic range improvements. And that really keeps EV trucks off limits for the pickup towing crowd. The sad part is there's space under the bed that could have been used to hold a spare tire or more batteries, but was turned into more storage space. Nice. Number three is related. With all that stellar torque and horsepower and the unique build of the Cybertruck, Tesla promised an impressive 14,000 pounds towing capacity. Again, Musk flopped on delivering with a less than impressive 11,000 pounds, only 1,000 pounds more than the current Lightning. Although rumors have it that Ford's 2024 model, along with its heat pump introduction, might even surpass the Cybertruck, putting both on par with the R1T by Rivian. And remember that stainless steel vaulted bed? The one that, due to its exoskeleton, could stomach 3,500 pounds in its belly. Yeah, well, yep, yeah, that's a fail again. Rounding out number four on the Broken Promises list, 1,000 pounds short at 2,500 pounds. Get in the picture? Number five is about that shrinking bed, both in length and width. Mm. Some are disappointed with those kind of numbers. And as a bonus fail, although not an official promo at the 2019 reveal, the Midgate also took a backseat, pun intended, to make more money by, I don't know, delivering less? That brings us to number six. And a big thanks at this point for joining me. I really appreciate it. Also, please hit that like and subscribe button. You hear it all the time, but it means a lot to a small channel. And a good old ring on the bell notification icon to help this channel grow. My sincere thanks. I bet you can recall Elon's tweets about racing this beast in Baja, that it would be the greatest of off-road trucks. Well, you guessed it, some epic blunders on this one. The approach angle, if you take a look at the front of the truck with a bumper that, well, is not very off-road friendly, although highly aerodynamic for all the California highway warriors who will never take it off the pavement. It assures a lot of scrapes and cracked plastic, trust me, navigating water bars and rock crawls. It's even worse in the back, with some crazy engineering faux pas placing a large extrusion underneath a more jutting rear bumper, chopping the departure angle significantly from the original prototype. Speaking of rear bumpers, that brings us to number seven. Long gone is the tailgate ramp and the cyber quad. No mention of either. Too bad because the raising and lowering of the air suspension to accommodate loading was an instant hit with truck lovers, including me. The bumper angle now and the new rear mystery blob thing that resembles a fuel tank makes lowering a ramp nearly impossible because it can't extend and lower on the angle. Tesla and Elon Musk in 2019 were adamant that the Cybertruck was not a concept car, but a late stage 
prototype, that in itself could qualify as another broken promise, but we're going to move on. Elon on X, X, whatever, baked in broken promise number eight when he assured his fans that Tesla would build in solar panels, remember this one, for the tunnel cover, or should I say the vault, and it would recharge up to 25 miles per day. I'll tell you something, a truck lover, off-roader, overlander, for those crowd, this amounted to an equivalent of a small jerry can of gas, and it was a huge plus. Unless this is some kind of optional add-on, like the extra extended battery thing, this is likely just another Elon-induced pipe dream. And if you think Mr. Musk likes to blow a lot of hot air, well, not so much on his promise with the compressed stuff. Yep. Unlike the Rivian, the air compressor's gone. Remember that one? That would boost power air tools, blow up and air down tires. Great for off-roading and overlanding. Eh. It seems to have been erased from the almost $100,000 retail ticket to earn, I don't know, the title of Broken Promise number nine and maybe a little bit more of a margin. Hey, you just did it. You've made it to the end. Well, not quite. Here's the juicy one. This is the biggest epic fail of them all. Are you ready? Here it is. The final product isn't really a Cybertruck as promoted at all. The whole premise of its design was form follows function. Remember that? The triangular form and the stainless steel exostructure was all supposedly a result of that. A single piece, structurally rigid exoskeleton. In other words, what you're buying now, the whole truck, is a bit of a marketing ploy in the end. The function's lost entirely because Musk secretly dumped the whole exoskeleton process. The biggest selling point back in 2019, the load being borne by the entire exterior piece. Instead of by a molded unibody or frame or body on frame like the traditional truck he dissed so much. There is no full exoskeleton. Sure, it's tough. But this is made of massive castings in the front and back with a central structural battery pack with attached exterior stainless steel panels. Even Sandy Monroe had this to say. This is telling me that um, this has an inner framework that it would be basically the, the body inner. And so consequently, we're looking at something that is not the same as what I was hoping to see. What I was hoping to see was a true example of an exoskeleton. If you've deliberately overlooked the whole door wedge thing to convince yourself that it wasn't that bad because it made more sense structurally from a functional truck perspective, well, now you might want to rethink that. Is this going to be an amazing electric truck anyway? Honestly, I actually think so. I think it's going to be a superior product to what's out there right now. Based on glowing reviews, it sure looks that way. But our job here at Trucked Up EVs is to strip off the hype and take off the rose-colored glasses to look at what we're actually getting for our hard-earned truck buying dollars. And honestly, with this Cybertruck final run, we're getting 10 promises less for almost 50% more money. That's a fact. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out this video talking about the biggest change needed to accelerate EV truck adoption. See you next time.